We're now in the month of February, which means the high school basketball postseason is just around the corner. Several teams are still in the hunt for a spot in the state tournament, including the East Boston Jets, who came into Thursday needing just one more win to qualify for the states. Standing in Eastie's way, however, was rival Charlestown, who already beat East Boston earlier in the season. Let's head now to Charlestown High School for this one. There you see the East Boston Jets looking to qualify for the state tournament. First year coach Sean Brown. First quarter, Eastie was doing a good job of it. Tied at two right here. It's actually Chris Conway from Charlestown getting the put back right there. He kept Charlestown in it there in the first quarter. Still in the first, Dion Knight knocking down the trifecta from the corner. Eastie goes up by six after that one. Late in the second quarter now, Jets up by three. Pat Santos turning on the Jets. He gets the steal and the lay-in. Jets up right there by six. Then four seconds left in the half. It's Stanley Harris with the bucket just before the buzzer. Jet, Jets go into the half up eight to zip, 35-27. Third quarter, Jets extend their lead with a three right there from Marcus Shaw. They go up by 11 points, but Charlestown goes on a run after that. Taris Wilson feeds Conway right there. Then Charlestown now down by just two. Taris Wilson with a flush right there for the Charlestown Townies. Ties the game up at 42 apiece. Charlestown now up by two. Giovanni Lopez Harper finds Wilson down low. Charlestown goes ahead 46-42 then in the fourth quarter. Charlestown up by nine. Elijah Robinson, I don't know how he hits that shot, but he does. Seatown goes up by 11 after that one. Then later on in the fourth, it's Taris Wilson again. With the three, with a hand in his face, Charlestown goes on to win this one. 67 to 48. Girls basketball, South Boston. Lady Knights right there looking for a couple more wins to make the city playoffs, taking on Snowden, second quarter. Imani Giles gets the put back on her own miss for the Snowden Cougars. They're trying to keep it close there with South Boston. Later on in the second, it's Elena Wright McCarthy stopping and popping at the top of the key. Southie would lead 28 to 11 at the half. Third quarter now. Daytona Smith misses the free throw, but Jocelyn Harris is there for the putback. Puts Southie up by 20 there in the third quarter. Later on in the third, Daytona Smith finds Destiny Morris. Morris had 12 points to lead all scorers in this one. Then in the fourth quarter, it's going to be Harris finding Wright McCarthy. Elena had 11 points for Southie as they go on to win big, 54 to 18. So the South Boston Lady Knights are now one step closer to making the city playoffs with just two weeks remaining in the season. We also have some news from the high school gridiron. Boston English High School has hired a new head football coach. Brian Vaughn will be roaming the sidelines for the Blue and Blue next season. Coach Vaughn spent the last four years as head coach at Pope John High School. Vaughn is taking over for an English team who went 3-7 and seven last season and only had 17 players on their roster for the Thanksgiving game against Boston Latin. So good luck to Coach Vaughn as he looks to put his stamp on the Boston English High School football program. That's going to do it for sports this week. Make sure you come right back here next week for more on Boston Neighborhood Sports.